What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to fix your blinkers. Now recently I've been receiving a lot of questions concerning the blinkers or the turn signals, whatever you wanna call it. For some reason on people's bikes, they are breaking. They're not working anymore and they send me a message. They ask me how to replace the light bulb inside the turn signals. Now I have to disappoint you guys. You cannot replace the light bulbs in the turn signals let me show you now i'm gonna show you guys on the back turn signals because that's more easier to film first let's try them out and as you can see they are both working now to get to the led of the turn signal you have to unscrew this now it can be a little bit hard but just take a firm grip and turn it counterclockwise now just keep screwing now there's a rubber piece right here. Don't lose any of your parts. And let's take the lens out. And as you can see, there is a circuit board inside. So you cannot replace the LED. Well, you can take it out and resolder a new LED, but that would be a hassle. What people are mainly asking if you can buy a LED bulb and just put it in there, put a new one in there, but as you can see, it is impossible to do that. Sorry guys, that's just the way Brixton designed it. So this means if your indicators are broken or they're not working anymore, technically you should replace them with brand new ones. Now you have two options. You can go onto Amazon and buy a different pair or you can go to your dealership and buy genuine Brixton parts. Now those can be expensive and the Amazon ones may not look the same or destroy the whole look that you want for your Brixton or they can make it whatever your preference is. Now before you want to spend your hard earned money on a brand new set of blinkers, let's check them. Whenever you have something that is not working, check everything before you buy new stuff. There can be a number of things wrong with electrical stuff. The solder connections on the print board may be loose, a cable may be broken or a connection is not solid enough to get power to the LED. So I'm going to show you how to check this stuff on your Brixton and determine if you need new blinkers or if there is just a problem with your old ones. Now to get to your connections for your back indicators you need to take off the seat. Now to take off the seat, you just need to remove the bolts behind the indicators. All you need is a 10 mil and a 13 mil. You put the 13 mil on the back and the 10 mil in the front and then just unscrew it. There's a washer and a nut on the back side or on the inside. You don't need to take out the whole bolt just slide it a little bit out. I'm gonna do the other side fairly quickly. And when the two bolts are slided out, you can take off the seat. Now these are the connections for your tail light, brake light, and your indicators. Now I know because I changed the tail light that this is my tail light and these should be my indicators. Now to make sure which one is right and which one is left, just follow the wire wiggle it around it's the blue one and the green one so we know which wires goes to the indicators now what we first gonna do is check if we have power to the wires so what we're gonna do we're gonna take a multimeter it doesn't have to be a fancy one all it needs to have is volts dc i'm gonna put it like this so you guys can see it so you put it on volts DC and turn on the indicators and let's see what power we have. And as you can see, it is blinking. This means we have power. So if you are measuring this, the problem can only occur from this point to the light itself. Now, the next thing we're going to check is if none of these wires are broken. So we're going to put it on this symbol. This means when we touch the wires together, it makes a beeping noise. Now you're gonna have to pull out a little bit of the circuit board, put one end on the wire and one end on another wire. The blue one is okay. And the green one is okay. So if you have connection right here, you can put this back together. Check it before you close it up. Now just put the cap back on the rubber grommet and then the 
screw on cap don't over tighten it and then you should be fine so if everything checks out you get power from your switch to your connector and you get a solid beep from your connector to your LED that means something is wrong with the LED or the circuit board and you're gonna have to replace your whole indicator now you can choose whatever you want go original with Brixton or go aftermarket that's a choice you need to decide for yourself but now you know how to check your indicators now you can go a step further and check the switch but now I just want to focus on this because a lot of people saying that one is not working or just the rear ones or just the front ones if the front ones aren't working just check your indicator check your LED check the wires if you don't know where the connections are just follow the wire until you reach the end so now we can put the seat back on we know that our indicators are good now you can check yours to see what's wrong with it if you need to buy new ones or if you just have to fix something so that is going to be it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like and a comment down below follow me on facebook twitter and on instagram and if you are not already subscribed to the channel i really appreciate it that's it see you in the next one